So I decided to take a look at the Firebird. Um, it's a really good looking craft, and um, it just seemed like it'd be a lot of fun. I like a somewhat torpedo type of missile craft, but it, and it sounds great too. And I thought I was going to take a look at all the sabers, but for some reason I changed my mind on that. Not sure why. When you get a good salvo off and a good lock, it, it's really fun to play, and it just feels really good. Even after good luck and you ask the missile to hit the target, sometimes they just have their own plans. No, I don't think I will. I decided to dogfight most of these out anyways, but uh, and the size threes are not nothing, but the outcome is usually fairly regrettable, and it's probably a bit due to the server desync, but either way, it uh, definitely hampers the fun. I definitely got more kills than I did uh, with these misses, but uh, it definitely, yeah, I mean, it stacked up. I have quite a few recordings of, of the desyncs and the misses, unfortunately. Brother, ugh. What's that? Luckily, the next set of missiles got the job done. So I decided to explore what are some of the alternatives to the uh, Saber Firebird. And so let's take a look at some of those now. So the Gladiator is obviously not as good a looking ship, but uh, or that's Eye of the Beholder, I guess. But it is a decent enough ship, and um, it has bigger torpedoes, well, it's size 5 instead of being size 3, I think, that the Firebird has. But it's a, it's a good, decent ship, and I got some, some good progress with it, and it uh, got the job done. I feel inclined to clarify that it has some size 2s as well, 4. Um, it has 4 size 2s, but it's the 4 size 5s that I think most people are going to be after. And it's a, it's a pretty good alternative, and I think the price will be less as well. And by the price, I'm talking about the one in-game, because the Saber is actually... 4.5 million and the gladiators 4.365 million um, I think that the firebird will probably be a little bit more expensive than the actual regular saber maybe closer to 5 million uh, at any rate it should be a little bit cheaper either way I'm not sure why the gladiator doesn't have the desync problem or just the inconsistency come from but uh, it just seems to perform better Next up we have the Eclipse, uh, definitely an oldie but goodie, and so it uh, is a nice looking sleek aircraft. I like the, obviously it's still the aircraft like the other Aegis, I like the Firebird, but um, I don't know, I like the B2 appeal of it having come from the Air Force myself, and so yeah, I mean we'll take a look at it next, but the size 9 obviously is much slower and bulky, but it is a good single uh, seat aircraft that you can take out and destroy pretty big ships with it. Not to mention it has top-notch security when you go to actually call for the aircraft. If you're not seeing something, you might want to check our spectrum selection. You can definitely take out any HRT and even some bigger craft with this uh, size 9. So at this point, it's just the cost that will hold you down. And it costs about 11k, I think, to go ahead and refill all three of the torps that you have on this thing. So it can be expensive, but it's quite fun. And I like to come in with my shields down and usually my weapons down as well. That doesn't disable your torpedoes, just to keep my signature down. So I like to come up just under 10k and turn my shields off and my weapons, switch over to the torpedo, uh, and then watch it as I send it off and make its way to its target. It does take some time, but uh, it's pretty easy, quick and easy to complete the missions. Right before the kill goes off, or when the kill goes off, you can just make your way off like a bandit. This isn't to say I didn't enjoy the Firebird, um, and I think the changes will probably help. I don't know if it'll be that helpful, to be honest. I, I don't think it'll majorly change it, having more torpedoes. 
well in this case missiles. Um, it, it just seems like it's something that might need a fair amount of rework. Maybe it needs a third gun or something. At the end of the day, it was a fun ship. Uh, it is a nice looking ship. I just look, look forward to the refinement to it and the way that it uh, balances out the gameplay. Anyways, thank you all for watching and checking out the video. I appreciate you all taking the time, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.